Alright, okay. So, hello, dears. <laughs> Ayan. So, hello, good day. Alright. So, um, welcome again to another pre-recorded lecture in our class in Immunology and Serology. And for this lecture, this is now the third test, no? To test our innate immunity. Actually, your T-cells, the eye, no? Karun ka realize Na part mo siya sa adaptive immunity ni mo. <laughs> But sige na lang. Ako na lang siyang iusa under one, ano, no? Under one section para dilidaghan kayo sa soul ninyo, no? Para dilid kayo Kalibog. All right, but anyway, for this lecture, we're going now to talk about the different assays and different tests on determining and enumerating, meaning we want to determine the numbers, no? And we want to determine their concentration, in a way, in our bloodstream, in our body, no? T-cells, all right? So T-cell enumeration assays, all right? So later we'll know why are we doing this, <laughs> why do we need to enumerate them, all right? What are its uses, all right? So again, this is T-cell enumeration assays, okay, all right? So before we go to that, no, again, just a little background. Uh, lymphocytes, diba? your T-cells are a type of lymphocytes. So just a brief description of lymphocytes. Again, as mentioned, it's the key cell involved in the immune response, okay, lymphocytes. Again, 20 to 40% of the circulating white blood cells in our body is made up of lymphocytes, diba? Of course, in your HEMA, actually, ano rin siya? <laughs> review sa yung HEMA 1, no? you have never let monkeys eat banana. Never end. Neutrophils yun ang pinakadaghan, no? So, mga 50 to 70% ba yun? And then, sunod na ang lymphocytes, which is about 20 to 40%. And a description of a lymphocyte, 7 to 10 micrometers in diameter. Large, rounded nucleus. Usually, the nucleus is much bigger than the cytoplasm. Alright? And somewhat indented. Nuclear chromatin is de dense, and it tends to stain a deep blue. Ayan. So, baga siya chromatin. So, manang blue iyahang staining. Cytoplasm is sparse, few organelles, and no specific granules, yes. Consists of a narrow ring surrounding the nucleus, and it stains light blue. All right, usually, diba? When we say a lymphocyte, it's usually like that. That's the circle, and then the nucleus is quite large, right? And then that's stained, diba? So, medyo, it, it occupies about mga three-fourths yata of the cell. Okay, so, dako dyan ang nucleus, diba? All right. Baga akong hima, guys. So, sorry naman. But yes, just a, a short description, a background, no? Of your lymphocytes. Okay. Excuse me. Let's choke. Ay. Excuse me. Nasamit. Give me a number, guys. Char. Gili ba ko? Wait. Excuse me. Okay, di ni COVID, guys. Ha? Nasamid lang ako sa own laway ko, no? Diri na lang juta makatry macho. Charot! Joke lang. <laughs> Or magyag. Char. Anyway. Alright. So again, as the rest of your white blood cells, they come from a hematopoietic or hematopoietic stem cell origin, di ba? But, di ba, your other WBCs, they are of the myeloid origin, di ba? For your lymphocytes, they have a different origin. That's your lymphoid, di ba? Pra lymphoid origin. And then they also differentiate in your lymphoid organs. The primary lymphoid organs, you have your thymus, di ba? Uh, one of that. Okay, and spleen, manata. Oh my gosh, Mark. Yes. <laughs> so, mga primary lymphoid organs. Okay. And can be divided into two main classes, again, depending on where the, the differentiation takes place. All right? So, we now go to the different classes. Number one is, of course, the T cells or T lymphocytes. By the name itself, T, because they like T. Joke lang. <laughs> they differentiated in the thymus. Ayan. That is where they differentiated. No, that is why they are named T cells, ty thymus, no? T cells. Yes. And the effector cells of the immune system, and they are involved in the cell-mediated immunity. So it means uh, cell-mediated immunity, it, this, it's the type of immunity that involves the cells yun mismo. Like, uh, sila yun mismo ang player for the, for the immunity. Di pareha sa humoral or sa antibody, di ba, mediated. The antibody ang nag-mediate sa imong immunity or sa reaction with the pathogens or antigens. All right, so T-cells, uh, So, sila ang naasa cell-mediated immunity. And we have what we call your CD8, di ba? CD8, the T cytotoxic and T suppressor or T regulatory cells. And you have the CD4, which are your T helper or inducer cells. All right, so. So, yung next slide, Ani? Okay, so later na lang. All right, so CD8 and CD4, the very two important types of T cells, guys. No, the CD4 and the CD8. All right, later we'll discuss what are the CDCD, okay? All right, ayan. Okay, and the next class is, of course, the B cells or your B lymphocytes. Your B cells, by the name itself B, it, they mature in the bone marrow, all right? Uh, primary lymphoid organ where maturation takes place. And diba, in your history, uh, there was this, that's why it's also named as B cell because 
uh, they discovered a cell in the birds, no? the Bursa of Fabricius. Ba yun? Ayan. Bursa of Fabricius. Uh, in the birds, na nakita nila na nag-release po o antibodies ba yun? Something like that. So, mupo na siyang letter B, B cell, di ba? Bursa of Fabricius. And of course, it matures or differentiates in the bone marrow. And as mentioned, it is involved in the humoral immunity. All right? And as mentioned, responsible for antibody production. So your B cells, of course, mo differentiate sila further to your plasma cells. And the plasma cells are a type of B cells. So it's a matured B cells or a differentiated B cells that is now or that are now the sources of your antibodies. Okay? All right. And we have another, uh, actually the third class, pero it's involved in the innate immunity na good. Uh, this is your natural killer cells, no? Your NK cells, uh, they're involved in the innate immunity and they have uh, non-specificity. So, dili siya involved sa adaptive immune response. They release por porphyrins and granzymes, which are substances that uh, porphyrins, of course, we name itself porphyrins yung buslutan, ang pathogen, and granzymes are enzymes that, in a way, destroys the inside of the um, the pathogen or the cells ba. And usually your NK cells, natural killer cells, are involved in the clearance no, of uh, virally infected cells, mga viral infections or cells that have virus inside of them, and also mga tumor cells, alright? Diba? So, if you have cells at work, yes, <laughs> anime, diba? Ang natural killer cells, good ang usually mo patay nila, mga, nat mga infected cells, ah, mga tumor cells, mga virus, mga vir viral infec virally infected cells, yes. So, in a way, cells at work is quite accurate din naman, no? There are just some mga ginagbay lang siguro na ilahang git git tweak tweak or ilahang git change para mo fit in sa storyline in a way. But it's a good, it's a really good anime. I'm not a fan of anime. Di kaya ko huge fan of anime, but that was like superb. I was I was I was so amazed and I like, enjoy kaya ko. So cells at work, guys. Cells at work na cells at work na sa Netflix. So if you haven't watched. It's good. Yeah, it's based on our, our lessons. Actually, makarulit ang medtech yun ato. Okay, all right. Ayan, so, yeah, natural killer cells, innate immunity. Because again, it kills without any specificity, without any choice, or without any um, preference. No, bisag kinsa na pathogen or antigen yung patron. So, natural killer cells. Okay, now we go now to your lymphocyte surface markers. Ayan, so, dili na ang magawa sa mga CD, CD. Okay? So, 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 na CD, oy. Okay? Alright. Kata na siyang ibutang sa ano, DVD player, charot. Or ano ni siya? <laughs> Chaka. So, CD, uh, CD muna, what does CD means? Nako, press the buzzer, lumalabas to sa boards. The meaning of CD is cluster of differentiation. Ayan. Uh, board exam question, I think, many years ago, what is the meaning of CD? Cluster of differentiation or pwede po siyang uh, cluster of designation. Ayan. So, but usually, kani daw niguas. Cluster of differentiation. Alright. So, these are surface markers. Okay. Na usually makitaan sa imuhang lymphocytes. Okay. T cells or B cells. Alright. And we use this CD markers to identify them. Okay. To, to uh, especially through diseases, mga example, mga leukemia and other lymphomas. These CD markers are of helpful, no, are of great help in identifying kung unsa na cells ang proliferate, unsa na cells ang daghan. All right. What's well, the meaning of CD? Cluster of differentiation. Now, please take note the color red ones. Those are the CD that are usually found in your T cells. T cells. Kabantay mo CD two, CD three, CD four, CD eight. Okay. Okay. All right. CD four, CD two, CD eight, o CD three. Ayan. Now, CD4, please take note, CD4 is your helper T cells. So, when you say helper T cells, these are the T cells that <clears throat> um, signals the other cells in your immune system that are pathogen. Okay, so helper T cell. Whereas, on CD8, your cytotoxic T cells, cytotoxic T cells, these are the T cells that pare parehas mo function sa NK cells na mupatay sila, okay, o pathogen. The only difference is that the CD8 cells, they only act if there is an antigen presented to them by the antigen presentation uh, antigen presenting cells example macrophages your monocytes ganern so they the cd8 do not act okay or do not react if walay antigen nagi present nila by the apcs whereas ang nk cells man good kay bahalag walay antigen presentation okay walay presentation uh, wala antigen presentation, mo mo act na good siya. Muna siya difference sa NK cells o in a way sa 
sa cytotoxic T cells. Alright? But please take note of the CD-CD. Alright, another one is, unsay mga CD sa B cells. Ayan, CD19, as you can see. CD19, 20, actually wala nabutang dira. 21, 23, yes, and 25. Okay. Alright. Ayan. So, this is your uh, CD19, CD markers sa imuhang B cells. Because I think na board exam question ani na, what surface marker or what CD can differentiate a B cell from a T cell? So, any of this, 19, 20, 21, 23, 25. Or I think na po 22. I'm not sure lang. Limot ko. Alright. Okay. And aside from that, CD45R, which is found in your hematopoietic cells, and your if ang question then CD what CD cell marker ang imuhang progenitor cells progenitor cells is CD 34 ayan please take note 34 progenitor cells meaning katujo pinakauna hematopoietic cells kato na ng mga ni differentiate okay so CD 45 R sa iya ha ang imuhang progenitors are CD 34 okay please take note and sa surface of the B cells you also have uh, what we call surface immunoglobulins no or your surface antibodies, surface immunoglobulins, your IgM and IgD. Diba? Recall in our uh, lecture on antigens antibodies, IgM can also be found on the surface of your B cells. All right? uh, IgM ang unang makitaan, and then after pag mature sa B cells, may mo lang IgD. Okay? IgD. All right. And TCR, when you say TCR, that's a T cell receptor. All right? Again, by the name itself, <laughs> it's found in T cells. So, ginagamit niya for... Uh, for in kanang in identifying or in recognizing mga pathogens the T cell receptor so kanin T cell receptor mo bind sa a receptor na po dito sa bacteria inana and all that okay all right so those are the different lymphocyte surface markers okay so later in our topic on flow cytometry mas appreciate na to <laughs> cd markers okay hopefully all right ayan now we go now to your applications now why do we need to enumerate T cells okay Alright, so because we want to look for lymphoproliferative malignancies, so meaning na mga cancer or na ay um, uncontrollable or abnormal um, division of your lymphocytes or your lymphoid cells, no? uh, hematopoietic cells na lymphoid ang origin, ganun. so mga malignancies, immunodeficiency syndromes also, if ever there are deficiencies in our T cells, no? so we can know kung nabatay sakit, nabatay problems at immune system in a way because of immunodeficiency syndromes unexplained infectious diseases because example if recurrent okay sige balik balik it could mean that maybe na kay kulang na t cells okay uh, because again of yeah so that's why we need to enumerate them uh, monitoring of transplants yes because in the case of organ rejection or transplant rejection so of course we need to count the T cells if they increase ba sila. Because if increased T cells, that means uh, padulong na siya of rejection because your body is not accepting the organ. Okay, so your body is fighting the organ nagi transplant because of the increased T cells na nakita na to pag enumerate. Alright? And lastly, of course, AIDS, diba? especially for HIV. Uh, because in our HIV serology, and if if you already know, ang target sa mong HIV virus, ah, my God, redundant, your HIV uh, is your CD4. Ayan. So that's why CD4 helper cells, CD4 T helper cells. So, ang HIV dito siya mo replicate sa CD4. So, therefore, iyahang pagam yun imuhang CD4 count. Diba? That's why in HIV patients, gina monitor ilang CD4 count. Because again, it's important. If mumubo na ang CD4 count o less than 200, alright, if I'm not mistaken, ma pro na siya to AIDS. Okay, magka. Ano na siya, develop na siya og mga immunodeficiency syndromes, mga opportunistic infections. Okay? All right. So that's why we need to enumerate your T cells, okay, for that. Okay? Because again, on say target sa HIV, your CD4 T helper cell, diba? So and muna siyang ma-weaken yung immune system sa HIV patients because diba, recall ang function sa CD4 T helper cell is to signal, no? Signal the other cells of the immune system, especially the B cells, uh, that there is an ongoing pathogen na naa sa inyong, inyong body. Now, if gamay ra ilahang count, no? So therefore, wala na imong signal sa immune system, ma-paralyze ang immune system. Okay? So wala na wala na sa kabalun sa buhaton sunod. Kaya wala na signal because of the decreased or yeah, decreased number of your CD4, which is again seen in HIV patients. All right? Okay, that's the applications. And we have two types of tests. Number 1 is the Eroset assay, which is uh, what we're going to discuss first, and the second part is the flow cytometry. All right? 
Now, for the e set test, this is actually a historical method of determining or enumerating your T lymphocytes. So I think it's quite obsolete now <laughs> because, again, most of, in the laboratory now, I think, mga high-end labs, they are now, um, the methods now are replaced with flow cytometry, mga molecular, and other stuff, okay? But we'll, for the sake of knowing, yes, we'll discuss this uh, still, all right? So again, the e set test, historical method for enumeration of T lymphocytes. So the rationale is lymphocytes first are separated from whole blood during centrifugation using what we call a fecal hypake, which is like a liquid, no? Na mu separate sa components sa uh, WBs, as sa blood, okay? Yahang SG is 1.077 to 1.114. And then you mix a suspension of sheep RBC. So kabate mo na sa atong, actually sa atong IS, dagan kitang ginagamit na sheep RBCs. Dagang tests na nagamit og sheep RBCs, mga other animal na RBCs or whatever. Yes. So no animals were harmed <laughs> in filming this pre-recorded lecture. Okay. All right. Ayan. After the suspension is refrigerated and charged in a hemocytometer. Now, I don't know if like unsa na toma pipet ang gigamit wala gi specific gi specify, but I think WBC toma pipet siguro ni. All right. You don't aspirate any diluting fluid din naman. Okay. All right. So again, mani siya ang imuhang procedure in a way. So to Illustrate, ayan, so whole blood plus the buffer, which is fecal hype, uh, plus buffer and the fecal hypake, no? so there's a difference in mga SG and all. You centrifuge 400 times G for 30 minutes, so ma separate ang plasma, and then the fecal hypake and your red blood cells and granulocytes. So ang mabili na lang is this buffer, buffy coat, okay? And this buffy coat now contains your mononuclear cells, which are your lymphocytes, okay? Your lymphocytes, your T cells, or other B cells, okay? All right. Ayan. Now, what we do next is we charge, and then if a lymphocyte is attached with three or more RBCs, so na ay lymphocyte sa tunga, and then ay RBCs na gapalibot niya, that is now termed a rosette. Okay? Rosette. Ayan. Because T cells, they naturally possess, di ba, one of, what marker ganina? CD2. Most of your T cells, if not all of your T cells, good, have CD2. And this CD2 is the receptor that the sheep RBCs will bind to. All right? So if your cell gyud na nakita dito is a T cell, it's a real T cell, then mu bind ang sheep RBC dito because again of the CD2 marker na naa sa imong T cell, all right? And your sheep RBCs have this receptor or ligand known as the CD58 or LFA3 or lymphocyte function associated antigen 3. So this is found in the RBCs ang LFA3 or CD58 sa RBCs of your sheep. That is why Nasha attraction towards the CD2 of your T cells. That is why mo form sila og grow set or mo flower. Nagpalibot ang RBCs, nagtapot ang RBCs sa imuhang T cell. All right, we have a picture later. Ayan, okay. Actually, your CD58 also, we have that in, in our body. Uh, it's found in the macrophages and the APCs, okay, antigen presenting cells. All right, but since uh, we are detecting T cells and sheep RBCs manang naa, so dili. Ma dili mo cross react po di muhang macrophages and uh, monocytes or APCs because again they were also removed during centrifugation di ba sa granulocytes dito sila nabutang okay <laughs> all right ay tama ba granulocytes ba sila yeah anyway yes but this lang mo cross react because again there are RBCs uh, the sheep RBCs all right okay but again uh, yeah we're we're only after the sheep RBCs and the T cell na nisulun okay a T cell and then the RBCs na nagpalibot nila, which again forms a rosette. So here's an example, yan. So this is the T cell and then kining nag, nag uh, kumpol kumpol are the sheep RBC. So once you see this, no, so you're confirmed now. It's confirmed that uh, this is a T cell good. Ayan, di ba? But again, this test is not to, it's not a test to determine its function of the T cell. It's more on enumerating lang yun, just to know how much or how many ang T-cells uh, na asa sample. Alright? Okay, now for the calculation, we count 200 cells, both row sets and non-row sets, meaning katong wala rin, wala rin nag-kumpul-kumpul na RBCs in the, in the chamber. Alright? So, mga mononuclears, uh, so mapindi ang monocytes, so macro, mga monocytes, ani, kay mononuclears man. But, again, di lila sila mo cross-react. Okay? Alright? And then the relative T-cell count is then obtained. The number of the row sets, okay, katong row sets, over 200 mononuclears times 100, so that's the percentage. And for relative B cell, is 100%, di ba? Minus the relative T cell count. So, kung pilay mong relative T cell count, minusan mo 100. Kaya di ba, percentage mani siya, alright? So, 100% imuhang i-minus, 
ani na answer. Because again, 100%, mo siya total, di ba? So 100%, bali, 100% of the lymphocytes, okay, minusan ni mo ani na value to get the B cell count. Okay, mo ang T cell count, no, 100% of the lymphocytes is kanina percentage ang T cell count. So to get the B cell count, you minus lang the T cell, relative T cell count from 100%. Okay? And that's for, to get the relative B cell count. And there should be approximately two times more than uh, T cells more than B cells. Okay, so mas dagan yun ang circulating T cells kaysa sa B cells. Okay, because again, your T cells are much more involved in cell mediated immunity. So basagan ina mo percent dyan ng antigen and of course your CD4 helper cells, di ba mo signal, alright? And CD8 basa na ay antigen na percent niya, so mag release dyan sa og perforins and granzymes, same sa NK cells. So that's why mas daghan sila sa bloodstream. Whereas your B cells, they rely on the CD4, CD4 T helper cells sa pagproduce ng antibodies. Okay? Alright, so nasa mga communication, mag level. Oh, diba? It's so amazing. Alright, ayan. Okay, so for the Eroset test, again, we get now the absolute T cell count. So, diba? If mga absolute, absolute gani. Kung on sa tong percentage sa relative, you multiply by the absolute lymphocyte count, diba? So how do we determine the absolute lymphocyte count? You multiply again the WBC count by the lymphocyte differential count, diba? So, um, kung pila ang differential count sa lymphocyte, diba? Like example, 20%. So, kung pila ang WBC count ato, that's the absolute lymphocyte count. So, to get the absolute T cell count, you multiply the relative T cell count ganina, katong, atong gi solve, diba? And you multiply that with the absolute lymphocyte count to get kung pila ganyang concentration. Alright? Ayan, so I hope na gets lang yung marami mga T cell, T cell count, okay? So, again, quite a review lang on your HEMA, di ba? Hopefully naman, sana naman, yung HEMA 1 yun, nandyan pa. <laughs> okay, alright, so, yes, that's it for the EROSET test. Again, historical method, I think it's quite obsolete na good. I have not experienced this in internship. Wala po kaayon ni siya sa routine hospitals, no? Because again, um, this test, if ever magani enumerate, alright, and other tests, um, they are now replaced by this cell flow cytometry which is the which is what we're going to discuss in the next video all right so i'll see you on the next video 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 as we <laughs> discuss cell flow cytometry okay